We are running the world's largest nodal crew. We find it very easy to use, the stride system. We've had very, very little failure. It's been a very reliable system. We've had good support from stride technical support and we've managed to hit our production targets. The reason we chose Stride obviously was price and availability to meet this client's urgent demand to start the operation. The key functionality of the Stride node, it's a one component seismic sensor. It only weighs 150 grams. Uh, it's all self-contained, it's got the seismic sensor, the battery, the memory and the GPS chip. Uh, for timing and for positioning. It's got no copper connectors on, on board and so it's wholly waterproof. Uh, the charging is done by an induction coil here at the top and the uh, harvesting data offload is done by an optical link at the top of the node. If the node has been deployed for 28 days then the maximum charging and harvesting time is four hours. The charging and harvesting are done concurrently and the sensor supports one millisecond sample rate, two millisecond sample rate and it also has two gain steps for vibration size and for explosive mode. As a data manager, I have a fully visibility of uh, deployment and retrieval uh, process. And uh, as the nodes arrive for charging and harvesting process, and then we prepare the nodes for the next uh, deployment cycle. Uh, on the node raw data, and uh, we do the receiver gathers after we process them. And then we use the seismic QC software and uh, we do the various QC checks on them before we pass it to the QC department. Daily uh, volume of seismic data, is so average of 20 to 30 terabytes uh, we handle. Uh, cycle time of uh, charging is about three to four hours and depend on the days the nodes been out on the line. Uh, the compact cabin configuration we have here, uh, we have a four racks. Each rack contains uh, six shelves and each shelf is a 90 nest boards and it comes to 2160 nest boards and which means we can harvest and 2160 nodes in a cycle. A cycle being every three hours, possibly we can do harvest for 24 hours and uh, around 17,000 nodes. Charging and harvesting process, uh, once we put the nodes uh, in, uh, the nodes are get charged by the induction coils and the data transferred by the optical and then uh, they get saved in the system's hard, hard disks and then uh, after that uh, they've been backed up to the NAS drives. The main benefit of using the stride system is the reduction of the crew size. This project is 165,000 channels. The crew is 250 man crew. Compared to conventional system, I would have 800 to 1,000 man crew to do the same job. So that's a huge benefit. The second thing is the number of vehicles. Uh, we don't need any heavy vehicles in this project. We use less light vehicles compared to conventional system. We have only 40 light vehicles uh, for conventional system. Again, uh, for the same project, I would be using 160 to 170 vehicles between light and heavy. Um, the last and most important part is the HSE exposure of personnel. Because we reduce the number of personnel in the crew, HSE exposure is much less. With Stride, of course, being a nodal crew, we have a lot less vehicles, a lot less people, a lot smaller crew. Therefore, our HSC exposure is reduced dramatically. Yes, I'm sure the AGS could feel the bigger nodal crew. The nodes on issue is, is what Stripe provide as an ancillary system for us to be able to, to use those nodes, yeah. I don't see why not. <laughs>